My journey was early. At the age of eight, nine, I was introduced to drugs and alcohol, marijuana, and my mother was a third shift worker, and during the day she went to college. Yeah, we were left up to our own devices a lot of the time, and a lot of the time we filled in voids with using uh, marijuana and drinking. I was in a relationship, and it was an abusive relationship, and I finally got information on a um, domestic violence shelter where me and my kids can go to get rid of that chaos. It was at the shelter that they, they asked a series of questions. I was, I was very honest with them, you know, and uh, that's, that's how I learned about the Fellowship of Narcotics Anonymous. I thought it was okay to do what I was doing with, you know, involving myself with drugs and alcohol. It took some years, like over 20 some odd years going back and forth with um, using drugs, not using drugs, participating in the Fellowship of Narcotics Anonymous, um, and uh, just living life on life terms for me to come into a belief that, you know, if I follow this way of life, that this, I can be restored to some sanity. I learned how to navigate finding hope, believing in myself, believing in, you know, others also, you know, um, that this too can be overcame one day at a time though. It's not an overnight sensation where you're cured. You know, it's, it's over time and it's for the rest of your life. So that definitely that my words of advice would be to keep the hope. I want to be the eight-year-old Paulette that I used to be before the drug use played its toll in my life, you know? And I can, I can get her back. I can get her back with abstinence. No, I can.